At this point, do you think Hassan and Jenk are anti-Semitic? I don't know. I don't I don't think so, but it's like indistinguishable from... I feel like some of the anti-Zionist stuff people say is indistinguishable from anti-Semitic. We're at the top of the hour, so I'm running it now. Oh, ads. Thank God. Also, the other reason why people are extra mad about Frogan, who is like white passing herself. White passing? Half fully white, calling another full white person uh, and their activities to be one of one born out of privilege <laughs> and a privileged blind spot, saying it's cracker behavior. The reason why that is considered completely and utterly unpermissible is because she wears a hijab. Because no matter how Wait, white what? your skin is personally, you will have your whiteness status revoked by other people who don't consider you to be a part of the in-group. But if you want to understand how laughable... It's so sad because, like, somebody... <laughs> there's some guy that hates me right now is making a clip where I said that, like, Hassan typically doesn't play um, the id poll stuff, the identity politics stuff, as much on stream anymore because he's, like, leaned hardcore into the tanky shit. I guess he does borrow from it, though, when it's convenient. Like, Jesus, that's so cringe. We're on, we're on some hardcore id poll shit right now to pull, um, to, to pull this out of the hat. In a marketing initiative could crack jokes about it. Think about how fucking polite these guys have to be professionally. That's why it is unimaginably idiotic. And that happened two years ago, two whole years ago. And yet there are still newcomers of the conversation trying to champion the cause. This is what I try to explain to people to hopefully shake some sense into them. We then sent me a cracker pass, if you guys remember. Like, they, they had a marketable moment, like a brand moment, making fun. If they were to do that for any real slur, they would understandably get destroyed. What? Does he think this is, like, proving his point, this, like, weird appeal to popularity? Yeah, you can shit on white people. Yeah, no doubt. Everybody knows that. If I were to call, like, a black person an Uncle Tom, and then Oreo were to, like, reach out to that guy, like, hey, we can send you a pack of Oreos if you want. Like, do you think people would accept that? Probably not. Does that make, like, what is the argument here? That, like, since another company made this joke along with me, it's okay, but they wouldn't make the same joke for, like, what are we, what are we talking about? Like, it's such an, uh, this is stupid. I feel like I've, I just want to leave all this shit behind. It's so dumb. It's such a dumb, like, I, also, the irony of, like, Tanky Hassan using corporate appeal for the validation here when they talk about rainbow capitalism and shit all the time. But I guess when the corporations are supporting you, it's, like, the most important thing in the world. My God.